B-Main. Yeah, super early rotations, like you said, that push towards B-Main, getting a whole lot of information. Big slower been in the back, but Envy are playing this extremely well so far. They're playing conservative. They're not giving up early picks in Caboose. Maybe looking to pick an early fight, as he does end up finding the first. Players are dropping all around in Envy. It's been a very solid defense so far, and now it's just B-Dog. He stands no chance in this wow. position. A quick one, they'll see aggressive angle here so far. And that finesse, he's just going to try and support him. So Beast Coast, what can they really get from this one? Food already can find the first frag. I don't expect too much from this one. Beast Coast, I think they're going to be lucky if they can get away with one or two kills at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you meant to read the eco damage. We, at least we talk about it a lot of CS, but it's not exactly as uh, impactful in Valorant. But, you know, it's still it's still around, but they certainly Ooh. need the kills to actually get there. The info and Envy, does anything change from Beast Coast? I mean, already they're expecting to get hit. There are four players here already. They want to just fight this in the back line. Caboose with a 3k. Food looking for another one in the back line. He already has a full ult orb anyways. Ghost take in an instant. They'll run it back for food. I wouldn't be surprised if he just runs on through and indeed he's not. He's going to be able to get two out of it. And there you go. Crashy, same thing. FNS, same thing. East Coast. Take a second just to stop, and Food does end up catching b Dog with his pants down. Now they know the hits come on in, but there's no utility to stop the plant for now. It should be a retake here for Envy as Beast Coast make their way to the site. FNS with very little resistance as the wall goes up, but he has a player behind him, and FNS oh. fragging out. Same thing with Crash. It's a lockdown here, and it's going to fall down to Tig. Nothing he can do. Envy, you blink and you miss it. They're immediately onto the site. And again, it came down to the duelist to try to make as much space in the close qualifiers. That one was a 13 to 11, though. Immortals was still able to do the same amount of damage to them on the defensive side. Oh. But man, oh man, Mame. He's the one this time with the off, and he's the one more versatile in terms of movement. That is just lovely to see. Holding it down. Second shot out the sky as well. Now, where do these flashes go through? They have the Seekers available. But now, Envy, every single ultimate charged up. And we know Crashy loves to play this position. Crashy's knocks down two. He may as well just oh, get the third no. here. Envy finding. Mame still wants to go for that same setup. And ooh, ooh. nice read up from Crashy to even check that position. Still, Mame takes him back in the recovery, actually. The revival from Kohler picking up jammies. No one's going to be there to trade it back, so still oh, it's a four-on-four. Four. And B-Dog, he lets one pass by, but that just leaves Caboose out in his lonesome. 3v4, man advantage for Beast Coast. Yeah, and here's Beast Coast setting up that Trailblazer to at least get some early info, clear out that left side of sight, but they can retake that instantly. Smoke's dropped on the left side. Yep, Beast Coast are really fighting for this control right now. They should be able to get the spike down, but a lockdown. That should be the biggest threat, or at least the biggest weight on their minds right now. Mame Ooh. sends in a Paranoia that should delay Paranoia. just a little bit. Goes for the swing food, able to find a big kill. Trying to double down, but it's Jammies from the side. Lockdown is in, and the retake is on, but Jammies Ooh. pushing on through, finds three. It's just FNS in the clutch, and he's down to just a 1v1. Again, this is big. The lockdown pushes out. And he's Kohler over towards the back end. He's still going for the diffuse. He's going to be able to go half. Kohler not pushing. FNS, he's trying to push. Hard reset on, on the defensive side. And keep in mind, this is Beast Coast map. So you worry for the future, at least as to what's going to happen moving forward in this series. Oh, well, absolutely. Beast Coast, again, this was really supposed to be their counter pick. Envy has played a very seldom in the last few weeks. Really at all. They've only played it four times and at this point, Beast Coast, they were looking to counterpick. They were looking to completely throw off Envy. And in this round, it's Envy throwing them off. Crash, he's holding back on site. Caboose on the flank. He has the info and he's not going to be able to get the kill. Instead, it's still B-Dog holding up with a classic. So, like you said, that, that map, map pool becomes a lot more con conjugated and it gets a lot tighter for Beast Coast. So, this mm. the rest of the series is a little bit frightening, but Envy... On the attack, a lot more reserved. East Coast trying yep. to fight early down towards mid, but they're just watching these wow. lurks. FNS and Crash, he's so sharp. They find two kills and Envy. Well, they have complete control of this A site. It's Beast Coast now. They have a 3v5 to try and take back. And because of those lurks, they have to take so much time to try and clear up these angles and ensure that they're not going to get picked off one by one. And Crash, he's looking for something here. And down at the very end. So at least a 3v4 now for the rest of Beast Coast. There a little short. Uh, just a little bit. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, it's one of those pissed around strats that you see a lot from teams that it's a little bit more cheesy. You try to make as much space as possible early on or really just try to surprise two players in the back lines of B. The Nade might be able to take one, but the teleport comes in at a good time. Tig and a nice off angle. b Dog here to help. There you go. The double pick. There's still one around the corner. It's going to be Crashies with a little bit of information. Finally gets the kill back. Needs some more, but b Dog. there you go. Explodes for two. Decop in the back fighting alone. Can't exactly get the frag, but gets a whole lot of damage. Two players for Envy trying to make their way on. Jen Jammies with a whole lot of damage, but Mummy still gets the kill. Oh, man, Jammies. He's trying to go for it all. Just about a minute left. They were looking for the plant. FNS looking for the frag onto Jammies. Good quick one, but Mummy still comes back for the trade back. 2v1. Still has the shrouded step. Again, not a whole cool. lot. A singular bullet will do it. Good stuff from Kohler and Beast Coast. So against Beast Coast after losing the second. And oh, Caboose straight on in, but it's food to find too. Where are the trades back? Take good for one. He has the Phantom on the low ground, but they need just a little bit more oomph out of that Phantom. Spike will not go down just yet. The site not fully taken over as Crashies oh. making that risk. And FNS catching the lurk. Spike goes down, but Crashies as well. A 2v2 with these trades going back. 1v2, Tig now. Got that phantom like you mentioned before, but that's a, a perfect paranoia! But Tig is still alive! Seekers out! Oh! Almost. Off the post plant. I don't really know what to tell you at this point. Beast Coast, yes, they have the right options, but it just doesn't work out for them in the end. A little bit unfortunate, but in we go again. This time, Jamie's. what on earth is this position? Could have sat on top of Tunnel, but instead he sits on top of the wall that was set up in the middle of Tunnel. That's very crafty, to say the least. Ooh, Crashies, he's able to dodge. Trailblazer, heal up in the back at least. Decop, ooh, oh. food. These lurks have been so, so good, at least for the side of Envy. And there's another food, Crashies. One by one, they're starting to fall. And a 3v1 take stood no chance. <laughs> Envy, they make one a heck of a... ...on this map, but uh, it's quite a bit different in terms of composition and envy they're looking to go fast and furious here on the a site it's gonna be caboose trying to take early u-haul control but kohler's more than ready for it that paranoia actually tacks out two players but no wide swing at least the spike will be able to go down but look at the amount of oppression still beast coast getting plugged out a little bit more tig still holding things down mummy around the corner with a trade back and there you go now it's a 1v1 mummy wins it out barely now you at least lose one life. Kohler good for the first. Now can FNS trade back? Stinger versus I think Stinger as well. And Kohler does double down and finds a second. So they trade things back. Full showers control. And this Ooh. is a little bit risky from Envy. They're going straight into the site and they do recover. And a 2v3 with only one person left. Tig stuck in towards Octagon is going to try and lock this down. But he is flushed out by a paranoia. A little bit what? of a struggle fight. Tig still coming out on top. Now it's Mummy again left in a 1v1 clutch. Oh, good rotation back, but man. I just can't believe that Tig was actually able to get two frags there. He was double flashed. Oh. Got flashed up by the curveball and then flashed out by by the paranoia. I mean, just a little bit unfortunate, Mame. He does go for the fake spike plant just with about 40 seconds left. You do have Kohler just about to swing. Fake TP and Kohler. He's not going to oh. overthink this at all. He still peeks the corner. And that's going to be a third kill for him on the round. And a round back for Beast Coast. Like you mentioned, super risky for Envy to try to fight on Hookah. Like with a curveball, but they've been revealed. They need to back away. And they are fighting here for Hookah. The decomp able to get out with one and easily back away here off of his paint shell grenade. Curveball does end up missing here. And Envy, it is a very sloppy round, but a huge double kill from Crashies. And food to find the player in the corner. Envy somehow turn it around they were going down one by one but now they've got an advantage in a retake 2v3 yeah we see that situation happening oh. a whole lot on the b side of bind just a 1v1s but oh no way through the smoke mummy takes down kohler oh Don Hunter's Theory hits immediately onto the running back position. That's wonderful from Tig. We weren't expecting too much action out of this. And of course, it is going to be that full retake from Beast Coast, but the ulti is really the one that is able to make up space. So well done, at least early on from Beast Coast. But Envy, they do have their post plant positions ready and rearing to go. 
The server is quite quiet, but Tig, he's still looking for more action. Jamie's on the front lines. No ultis to really act with, but a whole lot of util to make their way back in. Still FNS. Around the corner, same thing with crashes, but in comes the first pick, and oh, never mind, it was Mame, and Mame goes down through the smoke, Sully. That is just so unfortunate, but Beast Coast, they're gonna take that one back in a flash, but huge molly to force these players back, but Envy, because they realize the pressure towards this part of the map, they're gonna try and take a different angle, and Beat up pushing through with a judge. Good to find the first, but FNS immediate with that trade back. However, there is still Kohler, and they do need to flush him out now. And they still know he's there, but he still has Ooh. a crossfire into sight. But food takes him back. Tig, we talk about the power of the shotgun, but he tries to go far with the right click. I swear we've seen so many clips from the from the Bucky just just on Twitter in general in our. I guess you could say set up or formation. Two players back over towards B and D-Cop. There you go. The showstopper able to take down one. Still one more. He's fully flashed, but he's still not dead. And not only that, but Envy, they're still trying to take up control in the A sites. Lurkers galore, but it doesn't matter. Envy still all over the place and still trying to aim down on a singular site. That site being, oh, by being able, what on earth is going on? Actually, what is going on? d was almost able to get the frag back, but Tig is here to try to help out. Food tried to go for a knife, and this round has gone to the wayside as Envy, they lose out all of their 1v1s, and indeed, they lose out on the last one. For control here, at least into the back of U-Haul, but nothing for them, and B-Dog, through a huge smoke, finds the first into the players in showers. Jamie's taking it back, and not only that, with the molly up and a flash in, but no, that run it back is right in the middle, and Food's able to get two off the lineup. d -Cop is there as the... Have so much information. Kohler's not going to be able to peek either, and Beast Coast, they know that there's only two players. They're going to go for a full retake at this point. FNS still around the corner. There goes the recon dart, but FNS doesn't care. Walks right on by Jamie's. Again, he was the, I, I guess you could say the anchor on site, but still nothing of the sort. Still 3v2. Mame, look at this position. Could be able to get one. Still low HP on another one. Trying to see the on back. Could be able to go back over towards bathroom, and indeed he does. Evan is still holding up the cross. Not going to be able to get the kill. Still player in bathroom. Mame takes him down. Four. Doing everything they can to work that one out, and it's a well-deserved sixth round, but in comes Caboose. A chance at a double, no but way. he gets nothing for it. Nearly goes down to the boom, but is able to recover as a swing oh, out from Geekup is shut down and envy they've got the site for relatively free no players lost and only a run it back expended as these last two players they'll be I caught up it. in the trip wires now they know the flank is coming on in and beast coast it's caboose to try and meet them two players around this corner so quick and so fast and envy well it's all there see a great flash goes Ooh. in Kohler <laughs> popping off with two might get some more for a trip take that recon Dart is gonna get a whole lot of information, but still FNS around the corner. Same thing with Crashies. Crashies ends up going down to Jamie's, and Jamie's makes it too. Still, Mummy trying to fight over towards the long area. That's a beautiful position from Kohler in the fast rotation from the NV side. Yes, it is efficient in terms of just taking up control. The Beast Coast, they're all here, just trying to get that spike down. Oh, wait left. a minute. 10 seconds. Food can Food deny it. Around the corner. Food has to get this kill on. First opportunity over towards the Hookah area, and everyone from Beast Coast, except for one, rallying over towards the A side. And this is actually a double, what? A double hold, close bathroom, and Food is really going to be the one to get the frags. That is such an unorthodox place to really pull up a crossfire, but that didn't really end up coming into fruition. That was just buy. Your full buy is where everything is on the line. And oh my, Envy. Food already taking Wait an early fight, but here comes the Bucky. d -Cop looking for a little bit of extra, but there are three players here. And the Bucky, well, it's quick and while it's flashy, it's not going to be enough to take them One down. They try and finish. respond here, Beast Coast, with the use of the Hunter Sphere, but it's colder again. His aim is short, but is it good enough to win out this clutch? I doubt it. 1v3, paranoia oh, already oh. in his face. They have control of the spike now as well. It's... Unfortunate, I'd say, to say the least, for Kohler. The cam spots him now as well. Might get peeked on here by FNS, and he is just stuck towards Octagon. Nothing you can do. You can maybe salvage a kill here or there. If you're lucky, get that ult charged up, and he might just get it. Well, there's the game. Wait. Neural theft into the next Wait. round. Kohler! Oh! Kohler! Three kills! I bit my tongue for a second as you see. And we'll be able to continue without that second blast back. Envy rotations are being made. Time is being bought. And there's nothing here. One in the back, it's FNS and crashes towards Evil. Here comes the fight, and out goes FNS for one. Trades go back, it's a 2v3.
Good job, there's a smoke too coming in from Sig, but now in we go. D Cop takes down food. Last person, his position is already revealed. Mame needs to repeat the magic pulled off by Kohler in the last round. It's so, so tough from this position too. Tries to go for the TP. That does bait out a little bit of pressure over towards the smoke. They're still checking over, but of course, could have been a fake, and indeed, they're still checking a D Cop. Gonna be able to get another one on the round. Beast Coast movement. A whole lot of sound being heard by Mame. Has a great position. Gonna be able to get one. Again, it is a one and done. And nobody's gonna be here to actually trade him out. If anything, Mame just has to hold oh, it no, down. Caboose. Caboose with a couple of shots. But he can't hit anything. Hunter's Theory going in. Little bit of damage. Tig and B-Doc still getting kills back. Food with none other than a buck. He still takes one back. He does get traded. FNS with another one. Jamie's with a second. 1v2 coming in now for Crashies. And this might be an easier task now. Left. One player down completely low on HP. There's another one down too. Crashies only has a frenzy to work with, but he can make some magic. And he oh, goes. No. It's gonna oh, be able no. to go on. Only one person remaining. A gust of wind could take him down. B Dog. This is really the challenge that could take Beast Coast forward for the rest of this game, but he has to get this cross up right. Crashies, a singular shot to the body, does it, and he wins out the 1v2. Unreal. Beast Coast, they had the right setup, but Envy, well timed rotation, and they get it done for an 11th. They expected this. Like Clearing out at least the U Haul area, but there's still two players around. Fat Flash. You still have food, two players remaining. Reminder that you do have that flank over towards short. They might not need it, but indeed they need it. In comes Crashies now. Yet another 1v2. Jamie's an absolute legend, but in we go. Crashies with a One fake shock defuse. Dart. Knows where he is. Shock Dart has another. There you go. He does have another Shock Dart. That's a. There are very small chances here for Beast Co. Six out of seven for B Dog and Tig might force him to get more aggressive towards these Alt Orb areas, but B Dog seems to have no. There is a single trip here. Finesse right underneath. Food is going to try and retake it. Oh, a free kill on the B-Dog. Sent through the TP. And same thing here for Food, as it is going to be just Kohler to take him down finally. Run it back as now for the side of Beast Coast. As FNS playing around, it's Jamies who gets sent back here. And FNS still holding this angle. But they've held on to Hookah and Envy. They've got all the control in the world now. And Beast Coast, it's Crashies on the flank. Crashies for two. And it might just be the game here. As a two versus five. Now make it just minute. four as again it's cooler coming up big but a 1v3 to try and claw a chance but it's a small one at that still has the util great smoke out too there's gonna be nobody on site b dog still has to clear out little by little shots right on through the smoke and he's gonna go down to the frenzy through these co 